Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all tuning in, I'm about to repair this Queen Barlow that was made. This knife was made according to its stamp chain. See that right there? It matches this right here. It matches this right here between 1932 and 1955. Bone handles. This Barlow is very well made. It's, the blades still have its snap, and I haven't come across a brand that makes knives with better snaps than Queen does. They're very well made knives. The Queen cutlery became incorporated right here, February 7th, 1922. And they just closed its doors, guys, in 2018. They sure did. I hate that because they were a good American made company that made very well made knives. But again, guys, y'all need to, if y'all can pick up one of these books, this is like the Bible of collecting knives. I also have, this is the 15th edition. I also have, this is a little smaller book, but this is the, uh, and this one here is the 13th edition. Both very, very good books to have if you're collecting knives this one is better than and this was the last one that they made this one come out 2008 i think this one was 2003 if i'm not mistaken no nope, 2000 so this one's 2008 i haven't seen a newer version of these yet i don't i don't think they're gonna do them no more but uh it covers knives all the way up in the early two thousand so good book to have if you collect a knife okay guys so what we're going to be doing we're going to be redoing this tip right here we're going to start in that corner right there give it the traditional blade shape and come straight down right here that's all we're going to do then we're going to give it a new edge on both sides and they should it should be razor sharp these queens really have good steel in it you know and then also we're going to just give this a little bit of tip here i'm gonna come from the top down on this one and uh that way to maintain its original edge here but it's gonna clean up really really good hey guys i'm gonna give it its initial cleanup right here on my fabric wheel again no polish it's like a and an sos pad it don't don't use it on the the handle but it does good on the steel and the brass so does real good on blades too Hey, it cleaned up pretty good. See that? Cleaned up real good. We're gonna get the Dremel with the wire brush and clean out in there real good. Clean the backs of the spring. You know, you never know what you find in pawn shops, but you never know what you find in, in pocket knife chambers. Either <laughs> look at all that. That's some old pocket lint right there now. Check this out. Mm. Nasty, isn't it? Old pocket lint. <laughs> look at that. Golly.
I'm gonna see what kind of a difference this oil will make in the snap. Again, I haven't come across a better brand that has these snaps as queens do. Look how that oil just brings out that bone right there. Hmm. Hear that snap now? <laughs> yeah, it's coming to life, guys. It's coming to life. It's like the Tin Man on the Wizard of Oz. It's feeling good to it now. Hear that? Oh, my God. Ain't that awesome? See there? Queen's the best in snaps. I believe it. I'm a believer. See that? That's one thing you got to worry about a wire brush. The wires come out. The wires come out in those wheels. See that right there? And they hurt when they go in your finger. It ain't that bad, but it, it hurts. Never do a time. <laughs> oh man, that was a beautiful knife. Alright, we're gonna try some old flits right here. Ain't that beautiful? <laughs> that, thing, that thing cleaned up like a champ now. Wow. This old knife here. Beautiful. I might to carry it. I might to carry it. Once I get this tip done, the only thing left to do now is do these tips. Beautiful, ain't it? Okay, here she is, guys. Shine courtesy of Flitz Metal Polish. Look at that. How beautiful that thing shined up. Man, ain't it a beautiful knife? Immaculate. I could probably get a mirror finish on those with my uh, Dremel tool, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it just like it is. Look at that bone. Ain't that bone beautiful? Look at that. Man. Look at that. Wow. I've fallen in love with flits, guys. Ain't that beautiful now? Beautiful. I've fallen in love with, with a queen, too. She's pretty. Check these blades out. How about that? See the new edge right there? New age. Still looking nice. Beautiful. Listen, to snap. <laughs> and look at this blade now. See that? 
Look at the edge. See that new edge? Sharp now. Mm. Sharp. Listen, this now. Oh boy. Beautiful knife. I'm gonna be carrying this for a little while. Blade's a little short, but you know that's how long it was. I use that point or that tip that is already there, and I come down. That's a traditional Barlow shape. Beautiful knife now, though, ain't it? Man, I can't get over how good this cleaned up. I'm going to carry this knife for a little while. Mm, mm, mm. That's the mailman. He just delivered something I'm fitting to show y'all in another video. Got to tune back tomorrow. Find out what that is. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Can't wait to show you. Um, but how about that, guys? Look how well that queen cleaned up. Oh man, I love that stuff. I love to find knives like that and give $7.99 for it. And I promise you guys, I wouldn't take 50 for this right now. Made between 1932 and 1955. Anyway guys, this is what it's all about right here for me. Just finding a knife like this, I pay $7.99 for and cleaning up and shaping up like it did. Beautiful knife. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just could not resist going ahead and cleaning this thing up and redoing those tips on the blade. But uh, she cleaned up well. But uh, thanks again, guys, for tuning in. And until we meet again, that be like a good knife. Stay sharp. Thank you.